I'm your host, Lloyd Sale, and personally, I've got no idea why I didn't win the funniest person. <laughs> now, allow me to introduce, introduce, uh, allow me to introduce today's teams, made up of the wittiest, sharpest, and greatest brains from this amazing year. <laughs> Except for Josh, who's just here for comic book. Now, on my right, first up, he's a true bad man. In comparison to him, Biggie Smalls looks like James Blunt. <laughs> the funniest man of Chancellor's Year 13, Pantelli Nella Trudy! <laughs> Alongside him is a man who, well, oh, who am I kidding? I don't actually know if it's a man or a woman. It's Tom Hibbert! <laughs> and their captain, a man who's big on F1, big on baseball, and big on general knowledge, but he's small in the bedroom. So why don't only Sam Fry? <laughs> Their opponents today begin with a man with more quirky catchphrases and doggy hand gestures than Dale Winton, Alan Carr, and Paul O'Grady all rolled into one. Mark Elmore. Yeah. With him this morning, he's not allowed out after six without parental permission, and he spends his Sunday mornings yelling at old ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please clap slowly so he understands what he's doing. Joshua Reed. And their captain today, fresh from the mean streets of Potter's Bar, a man who holds the title of the best looking Italian man never to have been to Italy, Pietro Francesco Bergino! Now, our first round is music trivia. I'll ask uh, each team a multiple choice question. They'll win two points for a correct answer. Sam's team. In 2001, Blink182 produced an amazing music video for the hit single The Rock Show. They were given $500,000, and the video showed them spending all their money on random things. My question to you is, which of these three did they not do? Was it A, pay a group of strippers to mow a man's lawn and clean his car? B, bought a homeless man a $1,500 suit and treated him to a $125 haircut? Or C, bought a set of fireworks and fired them from the roller skates of a hired stuntman? What do you reckon? <laughs> Not the not we can? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not a bracket we can too really for you, can I Did people like Nick to ever combine the two pack? No? No, I picked a good test, didn't I? I picked a good test. What are you going to go for? Maybe I'll see. You're going to go B, you're going to go with the homeless man. That is the wrong answer. It was actually C. They sci-fied a set of fireworks from a homeless man skate. All four members of Blink-182 have admitted to having odd collections. It's not too bad. I mean, we used to collect Pokemon cards, didn't we? So does Mark Coppers. I mean, Travis Barker collects stamps. So does my uncle. And Tom DeLong collects coins. Leather? <laughs> to about four double platinum albums and 20 top 40 singles with titles such as Damn It, Man Overboard, What Went Wrong, Does My Best Smell and Please Take Me Home. By placing the songs in that order, we have a rough transcript of what Isaac Moore said after playing with his car into someone's living room. <laughs> Better thing. In the 90s, Blur were all the rage in the Britpop generation. But why did they begin 1992 £60,000 in debt? Was it A, their manager changed the details of their music deal, so all the money went to him? B, basic Alex James lost all their money in a hand of poker against Liam Gallagher? Or was it C, the band went on a mental shopping spree after their first album went gold, buying obnoxious luxuries such as a £4,000 shovel? <laughs> I want a four thousand pound shovel. What am I getting? Are you going for the shovel? I can't remember the answer. That's wrong. It was actually A. They managed to change the details of their contract. Blur's top ten single, Boys and Girls, features the lines: "Girls who are boys, who like boys to be girls, who do boys like their girls, who do girls like their boys." Ironically, this is also the opening line to Dom Hibbert's autobiography. <laughs> Blur's lead singer, Damon Albarn, started a side project in 1998 that led to great success. It was called Gorillaz, a group of fictional animated characters. Upon the design of Frontman 2D, Albarn wanted, and I quote, 
Something odd yet laughable with a distinct voice and a distorted face and body. On seeing a picture of Alastair Gregory, he asked the character to be based on him. <laughs> now, next, uh, well, first of all, I won't do the scores, but you're both giving me the shit at the moment. <laughs> Our next round are the notorious intros round. So, Pan and, uh, Pan and Sam, who are yours for Tom? Take it away, whenever you're ready. Road rage incident. 
He was allegedly cut up, so he overtook the suspect on a rural road at 75 miles an hour, stopped his car, and pulled out a baseball bat on the answer's leg. 